Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Guides video. My name is Humphrey Chung. Just to give you an updated review of the Sitara Place Apartments, we're here in Bangkok, just off of Rachida, near the Faramgao MRT. And uh, updated because I first stayed here two years ago. It's been great. Nothing really has changed. It's still great. Just want to give you some more information about the place for those of you guys who are thinking about kind of a long-term stay place inside of Bangkok. So the place has just been cleaned. We are walking in. Let's take a look at the door. These uh, knobs right here turn on the lights, front lights. Got a door here with the deadbolt and kind of a safety hole right there. Now, nice thing about the door entryway is it's raised up from the outside so bugs cannot easily get in. So that's a, that's a good plus. Refrigerator right there, microwave, hot teapot, drawers, lots of drawers. They throw in uh, some silverware, bowls, plates, glasses, that type of stuff. Eating table, not too bad. I use this sometimes to do my work. We got uh, television, another table, got a couch. Uh, the green screen here is mine. <laughs> it's not, not theirs. And go over here, we've got uh, a work, uh, work desk. And uh, I like this part because it's very long, so I can put multiple laptops and extra screens on here. i got the power outlets. Also, what's cool is they've got wired internet, uh, 25 megabits per floor fiber optic, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the Ethernet cable right there, that's mine going into my own switch. So going over here to the bed, pretty, pretty standard bed. Um, I have no problems with it. And we got our drawer space, throw your clothes in there. Uh, we got that one and that one over there. We do have a balcony. Once again, this is the eighth floor. I can turn on the light for the outside. Right, this is a view of one of the floors, the eighth floor. You can see it's uh, basically a rectangle with rooms all around. Uh, eighth floor is the top floor. Here's on every floor, of course, there's a big trash can because you don't want to keep food in your room because this is Thailand. Any place in Asia or basically any place in the world if you leave food out, ants will come, bugs will come. So just chuck your, chuck your stuff in there. Every floor has got a washing machine dryer. And so the way this works is uh, this is powered by that guy right there. You put uh, three 10 baht coins in here. As soon as you put the third coin in, this thing lights up with the timer. And then you come here, you chuck your clothes in here and you play with the buttons. I kind of haven't figured out totally, I just, by trial and error, figured out the right setting, and uh, it goes for about 70 minutes. All right, this is a view from the eighth floor looking at the Chinese embassy. We can see that it's uh, quite close. Once again, just about five minute walk away, and as I zoom in there, you can see the compound. Uh, amazingly good view of the inside of the compound and the humongous Chinese flag. Kind of looks like most other uh, embassies. It's just basically this concrete square and that's where you go to get your 10-year visa if you are a U.S. citizen. Hey everyone, Humphrey here with Router Gods here at the ground floor of Sitara Apartments. This is right in the center looking up. The, there's three ways of getting out of here to the main road of Rachida. You can walk, which at night is, is fine. It's nice and cool, not a problem. Uh, in the daytime, you might want to take uh, two other methods. Down there, about 30 second walk down the street, uh, there's a bunch of motorcycle taxi guys that hang out, and it's about uh, 15 to 20 baht uh, to get to the nearest MRT station. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, they're very nice. If you haven't ridden a motorcycle before, it's quite exciting. Uh, if you have any like uh, back pain or anything like that, you have trouble getting on a motorcycle. The other way of getting out there is the tuk-tuk. So they've got a tuk-tuk over here. It runs during uh, kind of like normal business hours. And the tuk-tuk driver, he's actually also the plumber and the electrician. So it's kind of by availability. And I do believe he's, uh, I think he's off on Sunday. So I've taken that tuk-tuk about, uh, probably about five times in the month and a half that I've been here. And uh, it's, it's been decent. We've got a water machine. Obviously, you can see this is a parking lot, so a lot of people here own cars. A little gym there. It's got, uh, let's take a look. There's a treadmill, some 
paint machines and stuff like that. So we've got, we've got a treadmill down here, we've got another treadmill, we've got a uh, bicycle machine, Stairmaster stuff, uh, hula hoop, don't know why, aquarium, fans and stuff because this is Thailand, it gets hot. Again, forgot to add a little thing down here at the ground floor, they've got this little uh, gazebo type thing that I like to hang out at. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's covered. It's uh, quite cool. There's a fan there, although I, I have yet to figure out how to turn that fan on. I'm probably a noob or something. There's also a light. I guess these books have been less left by uh, previous attendees, but uh, this is pretty nice. I've seen people hanging out here, playing guitar, stuff like that. Uh, so it's, I just basically pop up a laptop right here and study. Uh, behind that beam right there is a surge protector. So if you have a laptop, you can plug in your power supply uh, right there. As far as the neighbors and stuff, neighbors are really cool. You can see the houses around here, very quiet people. As far as, far as the other tenants, a uh, majority of the tenants appear to be Japanese. Uh, I've seen uh, a couple Koreans and then there's like some Europeans and stuff. I haven't seen very many uh, Americans here, although in my past trip, I did see an American couple, but uh, it's mainly Japanese folks here. and. Uh,